fundamental study especially about climate change and its related impacts on our society. Those are really very important issues. And more importantly, uh, I think it's pointed out by the uh, speakers this morning, those issues can only be studied or thought by interdisciplinary efforts. And uh, uh, so I'm really very glad that the USP has uh, initiated this uh, effort, uh, has organized this uh, workshop where we have uh, a uh, historian and uh, public health doctors, and uh, also a uh, environmental and atmospheric scientist. And it's only that people like this work together, sit on the same table, discuss these important issues, can we expect to find solutions. And solutions are indeed our next step. We can study all these phenomena, study the causes, the consequences, but the real important part is for us to find solutions. It's only through this kind of effort, this kind of teamwork, that we may have a chance eventually find some solution leading to the so-called sustainable development of the human society, the civilization, human civilization uh, can be sustained. And uh, this morning we uh, uh, have four topics that uh, uh, our speakers shared with all of us their expertise and their viewpoints, but we did not really have time uh, this morning to uh, open the discussion to the floor. Perhaps uh, in the next half an hour or so, uh, our speakers uh, could allow some kind of dialogue, question, answer session uh, from the audience. And uh, in addition, I think if you have additional thoughts, additional points you want to make, I think we can also uh, make use of our time. Uh, so, we'll open the discussion. Maybe anyone on this floor, if you have questions to any of the speakers on the subject they have just spoken to us, uh, now is the time. Okay, over there. Yeah. Uh, um, hi, my, uh, my name is Yu Xinhe. I'm a student from National Town University. And I, I would like to ask a question to uh, Professor Naomi that what is a sustain, sustainable economic development? And what well, do you have a specific definition for it? Sure, that's a good question. So the question is, what is sustainable development? Thank you. And of course, this is another issue by dangerous anthropogenic interference that people have argued a lot about what the definition of sustainability is. And some people have said the word is so broad that it's not useful. 
But if you look at the Rio Summit and the Brundtland Commission, where this idea was first developed in the early 1990s, the Brundtland Commission was quite clear that by sustainable, they meant development that created prosperity in the present without compromising the opportunities of the future. And I think that was a good definition then, and I think it's still a good definition now. I mean, the turn of sustainable economic development. Right. Well, that's what, but I mean, that's what that's referring to, right? So sustainable economic development would mean, let's say, if you think about forestry practices, if we just cut down a whole forest and eliminate the forest, now we have wood to use today, but there's nothing left for the future generation. Whereas a sustainable forest practice would be a practice in which, you know, there's selective harvesting in a way that allows the forest to continue and exist in the future, and would allow future generations to continue to harvest the byproducts of the forest without, without eliminating it for the future. So you reap the economic benefits, you continue to have economic activity, but you don't do it in a way that diminishes what the resources are available for future generations. And the same could be applied to crop management, soil management, water resources. I mean, it's possible to use water resources in a way that preserve them for the future, or it's possible to use them in a way that replenishes and depletes them. And that's the, that's the important distinction. I may add that uh, uh, in the recent years, when people talk about uh, sustainability, uh, sustainable development, they usually talk about three pillars of sustainability and uh, uh, economic development is one of them, and the other two are uh, environmental and uh, uh, ecosystem uh, protection, and uh, the third one is uh, uh, social equity. And uh, uh, it is uh, the hope that uh, we can find a way to uh, strike a balance among these three pillars as we move ahead. Any other questions? <coughs>